Hi guys, this is Miss Cry from Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. We're going to be talking about classifying animals, and we're going to start with the vocabulary. A vertebrate. This is an animal that has a backbone. So in us, in humans, it's our spine. So it's in our back. That's why it's called a backbone. And it gives us structure and helps us stand up. An invertebrate is an animal that does not have a backbone, so there's less structure. So a jellyfish, a worm, a squid, or a butterfly. A mammal is an animal that gives birth to live young. So we're actually, humans are considered mammals. So we're an animal along with elephants, whales, or seals, and a lot more we're gonna get into soon. Birds are animals that have feathers and wings, like chickens, penguins or parrots. Reptiles are animals that have scales like turtles, snakes, or alligators. Amphibians like frogs or salamanders can live both in water and on land. Insects are animals that have three body parts and six legs. And fish, my favorite, are animals that breathe underwater using gills. So what are insects? Insects are animals that have three body parts and six legs. The first body part is the head up top. It allows them to see, and it's got antennas attached to the top. The second body part is the thorax. It's gonna have all six legs attached to the thorax. And the last one is the abdomen. So it's the very bottom part of the insect. And sometimes when insects will have wings, so that's going to be attached to the top of the thorax, just like the legs are attached. And this is a grasshopper. It's got really big legs at the bottom of the thorax. Insects are cold blooded. This means their body temperature will change depending on what the weather is like outside. They have three body parts, just like we said, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen six legs, two antenna, and a hard exoskeleton. So this is the head again, the thorax, and the abdomen. So the exoskeleton is a skeleton on the outside of the body. So it's a stiff covering on the outside of some creatures, and it's gonna help for protection. Just like with this picture, there's a man trying to fight a lobster, but the lobster is gonna win because he's got a hard exoskeleton. Insects can lay eggs. This is a picture of eggs of a bronze orange bug. Large white butterfly eggs. It's gonna grow into this pretty white butterfly. And ladybug eggs. This one is really cool. So monarch butterfly caterpillar eggs look like this. It's gonna form into a caterpillar about two inches long. And then it's going to progress into a chrysalis. This is called a chrysalis on the left. And it's going to transform into this really pretty monarch butterfly. So monarch butterflies start out as caterpillars that feed on plant leaves for about two weeks and develop to be about two inches long. But after a while, the caterpillars attach themselves head down to a twig and then shed their outer skin and begin to transform to their next stage of life. And this is called a pupa but it only takes a few hours to do this. And after about two weeks, it's gonna transform completely into this really pretty butterfly. What are fish? Fish are vertebrate animals, so they have a backbone that live underwater and breathe using gills. Fish are cold-blooded and born in water. So these are actually clownfish eggs. You can see the little eyes on these fish. This is a fish that puts all of its eggs in its mouth so it can protect it from everything outside. And this is a baby stingray. Fish have scales, fins, and a skeleton. So this is a skeleton of a fish. And fish can lay eggs, live in fresh water or salt water, and breathe through gills. This is gills on a shark. Gills on a lionfish. Lionfish can be really poisonous, and when they have scales on them, you have to be careful not to touch them, or it'll really hurt your finger. And I actually took this picture. You can see the inside of his mouth. You can see the gills right inside. It looks really cool. 
And then this is just what gills look like on a fish from the outside. It helps them breathe. Birds, what are birds? Birds are animals that have wings and feathers. This is a black and white hawk eagle. Birds are warm blooded. This is a wood duck. Birds have toothless beaks, feathers, wings, two feet, a skeleton, and nine air sacs. That last one, nine air sacs, is something completely different than any other animal. So these air sacs are gonna help the bird actually take flight and keep up with every other bird. So without these air sacs, the bird wouldn't be able to fly. So that's what's so special about birds. And there's so many of them. This is a red crested turacao. A European bee eater. A turkey. And a mot mot. And this is a skeleton of some sort of bird. I'm not totally sure. Birds can lay eggs. This is a picture of a baby robin in a nest. Robin's eggs are normally that really pretty blue color. This is a blue jay with her little babies and the babies are opening their mouths so they can get ready for the mama to put any food inside because they can't get food for themselves yet. Reptiles. What are reptiles? They are animals that have either scales or bony plates on the outside of their body. Reptiles are also cold-blooded. This is a Louisiana milk snake. So we wouldn't find that around here in New York. Reptiles have scales, dry skin, a skeleton, and lungs for breathing. So an example is an alligator. A chameleon, which changes colors. It's sticking its tongue out right now to get a fly or an insect. And this is actually a skeleton of a chameleon. Reptiles can usually lay eggs. A lot of them do. This is a turtle. And you can see how many round eggs it is producing right now. And they bury it in the sand for protection. And this is one of the baby turtles that popped out. And then this is a snake guarding her eggs. Amphibians. Amphibians are animals that start out life in water and grow to live on land. Amphibians are born in water and are cold blooded. Amphibians have moist skin and a skeleton. Their skin has to stay wet in order for them to absorb oxygen so they make this mucus or this slimy stuff to keep their skin moist because if it gets too dry, they can't breathe and they'll end up dying. So that's why reptiles have a, or amphibians have a lot of moist skin. Oh, this one's really cool. This is called an axolotl. They can regenerate one of their limbs up to five times. So if you watch the ocean PowerPoint, there was starfish that could regenerate their arms, but these guys are amphibians, and if something happens to one of their limbs, they can, they can regrow their arms up to five times. That's a lot of times. Amphibians can grow lungs. They can live on land and in water, and they lay eggs in water. What are mammals? We've come to our final category. Mammals are animals that give birth to live young. Mammals are warm blooded. Most are born alive. These are baby elephants with their mama. Orangutans. Mammals have a backbone or being a vertebrate, hair or fur on their bodies. So this is a raccoon whose name was Pumpkin and I got to look after him for a little bit. Mammals can live on land and in water and drink milk from their mother. So baby manatees 
when they need milk from their mom, they're actually going to latch on to what looks like a manatee armpit and they're going to swim along and that's actually a baby getting milk from its mom. And manatees are my favorite animal. I know I have a lot of favorite animals, but this is me giving a manatee milk. Um, every morning I had to make, uh, it had banana, it had milk in it. Um, and I got to feed these manatees bottles of milk. This is a camel. It's got two humps. The humps are, they actually have a function to them. They store fat, which can be converted to water and energy when they don't have any available to them. So a lot of times camels will be in deserts. So that's why they need those humps to store energy for when they don't have access to water or food for a long time. So this is pretty cool. The platypus and echidna are the only two types of mammals on earth that lay eggs. So this is a platypus and this is an echidna. These are the only two mammals that can lay eggs on earth. Tigers are mammals. Orca whales are mammals. Okay, we're getting to the last bit. This last picture I have to show you has two animal classifications. Can you guess which two? I'll give you a hint. One of the animals has wings and feathers. It is a, what's the only classification of an animal that has wings and feathers and can fly? <coughs> All right, last and final hint. The other animal has two hands, two feet, and can talk and might be giving you this lesson right now. What do you think it is? You guys definitely got it right, I'm sure. It's a mammal and a bird. Turns out Miss K is a mammal, and so I'm an animal just like you.